Uh, we're looking under the hood of my Hyundai Kona Electric. I recently made a modification. I added this metal bracket and an Anderson SB175 connector. Uh, this puts out 12 volts all the time. So the negative lead connects down here to this bolt on the frame of the, of the vehicle. And the positive lead runs through a 120 amp circuit breaker, which should be able to do about 1200 watts of inverter power. Uh, and then the positive lead runs up here uh, under this plastic box to the uh, positive on the battery terminal. And you'll notice that uh, when I added this lug, I had to bend it 90 degrees so that the wire could reach down and then use a bit of a small file to cut a notch out of this corner here, because otherwise it would collide with the piece of plastic there. And yeah, 1200 watts is pretty close to... I previously measured that a with a bigger inverter I could do about 1300 watts before the charging voltage dipped below uh, 13 volts. So this is a Xantrex 1000 watt TrueSign inverter. It's a pretty good size for, uh, for this setup. And so I can take this other SP175 connector and just uh, plug it in here. It's a bit difficult to do one-handed. Okay, so that's wired in. And the vehicle is currently turned on and running in utility mode which is nice because I can uh, turn the headlights off. Yet it's still supplying power to the battery. Uh, so here I can power on the inverter. And you'll see that it's reading well above 14 volts, which means that it's currently charging, or at least uh, is supplying power. So the 120 volt outlet I have connected over here to a vacuum cleaner which requires, it's about 900 to 1000 watts, so pretty close to the limit of the inverter. And when I power this on, uh, typically the inverter will, will choke for a moment. It kind of turns off and then turns back on, because I think that's the, the motor startup power is, well, whatever it's doing. Anyway, here we go. So you could see there, the voltage was staying above 14, and the power reading was, you know, 950 watts, or 0.95 kilowatts. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. It's the Kona Electric powering a vacuum cleaner. And I've posted, or I've put up a website, I'll put a link below, uh, basically, not exactly full instructions, but basically how to get this bracket, and what all the parts are, and roughly how to assemble it. So maybe somebody out there wants to make uh, the same sort of setup.